This is the salt water spray test. The salt water spray test is considered the toughest weathering test that a coating can undergo. It combines the corrosive effects of salt water with the oxidizing effects of oxygen dissolved from the air by the water droplets. Additionally, it provides an erosive wash condensation and flow over the coating surface. As a bonus, seawater is being used in the place of salt water. This provides a more natural and realistic test. After the 500 hour exposure, the panels are then removed for inspection. In a moment, we will show you the side by side comparison of these panels. These are the test panels before the salt water spray test. These are the panels after the 300 hour ASTM test. And these are the same panels after the United States Navy's more rigorous 500 hour test. Here you can see the difference between the performance of rust bullet number two and the other panels. What follows is a more detailed technical comparison. This is the rust bullet panel. As you can see there is slight blistering and undercutting along the scribe lines. And none around the hole or the edges. There is slight discoloration and some loss of gloss retention. Now let's see how Rust Bullet compares with the rest of the panels. This panel was coated with Rust-Oleum's Rusty Metal Primer and top coated with Rust-Oleum Premium Gloss Enamel. This panel is an approximate 95 percent failure. Here there is acute blistering little or no resin retention and very little pigment retention. This panel was coated with Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer and top coated with Rust-Oleum Premium Gloss Enamel. This test panel is an approximate 85 percent failure. There is some resin and pigment retention. There is also a progression of blistering from the scribe lines and edges inward. This panel has xenolite urethane spray paint over a zinc chromate primer. Now this one is a hard one to call. The zinc chromate primer underneath is holding up pretty well. Although the inherent quality of the zinc chromate primer prevents undercutting, the urethane top coat is experiencing an approximate 50 percent failure. This panel is coated with Rust-Oleum cold galvanizing compound. This does provide a higher degree of protection than the others. Zinc particles are providing a degree of galvanic protection. But as you can see by the corners and the bottom of this panel, it has almost no abrasion resistance and the resin washout will accelerate the process of decay. This panel is coated with the Wasser brand system. This is the second best test panel in the series and represents the peak of old technology. A significant rusting and undercutting is taking place at the hole and the edges which indicates the difficulty of the system in covering sharp edges and corners. The scribe line is undercutting as well. Like the test panel number five with Rust-Oleum cold galvanizing compound, the three-step Wasser process utilizes a zinc rich undercoat that provides a degree of galvanic protection which allows the Wasser system to do as well as it is done. But the use of a zinc metal undercoat brings along with it most of the problems of a zinc rich primer system. 
This test panel is coated with Napa's Roughneck Heavy Duty Spray Paint over Naval Jelly's Rust Neutralizer. This coating system not only failed, but as indicated by the depth of the corrosion, it failed early on in the testing cycle. It has gone beyond the thin patina of rust onto heavy flaking and cancerous pitting. This test panel is coated with the POR15 four-step system and top coated with Napa's Roughneck Heavy Duty Spray Paint. This panel is the third best in the testing series. As you can see, significant blistering and undercutting are proceeding from the scribe lines and there is moderate undercutting around the hole and the edges. This test panel has been coated with hammerite rust cap. Here there has been a near 100 percent coating failure. There seems to be very little difference between this panel or the control panel that hasn't been coated with anything. This is the uncoated control panel. This test panel was used to demonstrate how rust reacts on untreated metal in the same environment as the coated test panels. What is interesting is how similar this untreated control panel is to panels 1, 7, and 9. Next, the seawater immersion resistance test.